What's up guys, 007 Ryan here, doing a little review on this Condor Molly Gadget Pouch. It's also known as the MA26 Pouch. You can find it anywhere online from $13 to $25 depending on where you want to buy it from. And uh, doing this little review just to uh, help those guys out that are on the fence as to whether they want to buy it or not. I guess I'm here to push you over that fence. Uh, I believe it's a pretty good pouch. So I'll go over uh, some of the highlights on it, some of the features on it. It is a small pouch but it can actually hold quite a bit. You can see um, you know, the dimensions there. The actual dimensions are six by four by two and a half. And this pouch has served me pretty well. Uh, we'll start with the front here. And basically the front is just a flap and they've incorporated a small pocket into the flap here, which is kind of nice because they could have left that out and just made it flat. But it has a small zipper up front. You can store small miscellaneous items in there. Uh, the inside of this flap here has a coating on it, and I'll go over that in just a second. But the flap is held down by a latch here. It is also held by Velcro, so that's kind of nice. Double security in there. Um, inside of this, what I consider to be the secondary pouch. You can store whatever you want in there, and it's held on. It's held together uh, by a cinch cord, so that's really nice. If you don't have much in there, you can cinch it tight. Or if you have quite a bit in there, you know, that really helps out. You have two dividers inside of there, so you can store, you have three pockets basically to store all your items. Uh, that coating that I was talking about is basically lined all along the inside of this pouch here. You can kind of see that. I don't think that's waterproof, but it does look like a pretty good deterrent for water. So um, that's a kind of a plus there. If you want to store something like maybe some lighters in there or something like that, I think I think they would be pretty much just fine in there. Most guys store their lighters with Ziploc bags and, and stuff like that, so um, shouldn't have too many problems there as far as that goes. And you can see using this uh, elastic cord here, stretching it out, that's how much you can put in there, and that's pretty deep. So store as much as you want in the front, as much as it can hold. Moving on to the main compartment, it uh, has some pretty big, pretty big durable zippers here, which are which have these uh, pool tabs on them, these pool cords, which is always nice for fumbling around and grabbing it and opening it up. What I keep inside of this one is my binoculars, which you can see there. And you can see how far down those are sitting inside of there, so that's kind of nice. Take those out. <clears throat> it also has two dividers in here in the main compartment. And you can see this coating is on uh, the inside compartment as well. Um, you can store whatever you want in there. If I wanted to store, you know, a cleaning cloth or something for the binoculars, or you know, whatever you want to put in there, um, there's quite a bit of quite a bit of uh, room in there. You can see there's the Condor tag right there. So that's kind of nice. There's there's quite a bit of room inside of that main compartment. It looks a lot smaller on a lot of the websites' pictures. So basically, I'm here to show you just how big this thing is. The uh, Molly straps on the back are really really stout, really durable material. It looks like they're you know, they got that nice little uh, insert in there to help keep this nice and uh, stout. Uh, it will take up two straps and three uh, laces of molly. So that's how much room you'll be taking up on it. Now, I have two of these, and the other one I keep basically, I keep both of these on my, uh, my, my range bag, basically, which stores all my ammo and stuff like that in. So I'll show you that here in just a second. So here's the one I have attached to my, my range bag here, and I'll go over just just how much crap you can actually fit into these things. Uh, on the front pouch here, I got a couple of lighters. Since those are small enough to go in there, it's always useful to have. Secondary pouch, I got a few of these flashlight batteries here, which are coming out of the pouch. Um, on also have a little knife sharpener, which I plan on getting a smaller one than that, but some earplugs. Got your basic tools that you might need at the range. Uh, the Leatherman, always good to have. In the main compartment here, more cleaning, you know, cleaning accessories for firearms. Got the uh, cleaning bottle. It's got your oil and your solvent on one side and the other. Uh, the AK-47 tool. Got a bunch of swabs in here for cleaning the rifles. Whenever you want to run through the barrel or whatever. I also have all of my cleaning rod attachments for all my firearms inside of here. These are a good idea if you guys haven't looked into these. I'm sure you, a lot of you guys have, but um, you can see just how nicely that holds all that in there. So I keep that in there. I uh, also have another one of those, which is filled with lithium grease. 
white lithium greases, which pretty much is what I use to uh, lube my AK with. That's always nice just to have something like that laying around. You just swab it up. So that's basically what I have in there. And yeah, that's it. But yeah, I mean, just just looking at all this crap that I have, I mean, depending on what you want to put in there, there's plenty of room for it. So that's why I consider this uh, M826 pouch, the Condor Molly Gadget pouch, a, a pretty much a good buy. So if you guys enjoyed the review, and if it helped you out any, give me a little like here. Uh, feel free to subscribe. I'll have some more reviews coming out of more products that I get, everything that I feel is a good purchase, even stuff that I feel is not a good purchase. But until then, I'll see you guys next time.